definition of a cultural leader would have to be somebody that naturally embodies and the values of your organisation, um, but also has the um, the influence to be able to to permeate those values throughout your organisation in a really natural and organic way. Um, also, when I talk about a cultural leader, I don't necessarily think that means a, a, a business leader in the kind of hierarchical sense of the word. So, for example, you could identify someone as a cultural leader who may not be even on your on your management team, but just um, em embodies all the things that you, as as business leaders, would want to see um, throughout your organisation. This is a good question because that actually it goes to the heart of uh, any business having to make a decision about whether they allocate resources or not to focusing on what is often considered as a soft, uh, intangible asset within an organisation. How I would answer it is this. Culture is the stuff that happens in your company that you don't see. That is what culture is. And it's either good stuff or it's bad stuff or it's a mixture. And I'm going to use uh, an ex-US uh, senator, Donald Rumsfeld, to, uh, to kind of really hammer home this point, which is there are no knowns within your organisation. There are known unknowns and there are unknown unknowns. And culture, you can choose which, which culture is. Do you want it to be a known known where you've got a really good idea of, of the values and the, the kind of energy, the type of energy that, that filters around your organisation? Do you want it to be a known unknown in your organisation where you kind of have an idea of what's going on, what's good, what's bad, but it's not really open and a lot of it's swept under the carpet? Or do you want it to be an unknown, unknown in your organisation where it's just happening behind everybody's back? And, and as a result, um, the tangible stuff that you will see in your organisation will start to be impacted. When I was thinking about, when I was asked to sort of um, chat with, with Dale and, and, and some of the delegates that he's got together for, for this particular topic. I think my approach has been to try and think back through the organisations that I've worked with and really distill what has worked within those organisations and what hasn't. So the conversation that I'll be having with all the delegates will be around um, some of the practical elements of how to instill and bed in um, you know some culture with within within your organizations um, and I hope everybody will be able to take home something of value. Well I, I hate uh, I hate spoiling surprises um, but what what I will say is that um, there will be some stuff in there around personal experiences uh, some good stuff but also some calamities that I've had I'm more than happy to to kind of share those and hope people learn from them and then some some items that I see around different industries that are I think working really well um, but ultimately it's just one woman's view and hopefully it will it will just uh, stoke a stoke a bit a few minds and a few thoughts for people